hello lovelies and welcome to my channel my name is jane onka and you're welcome to jane by design so on today's video we'll be making something very interesting and it's called a bonnet so we'll be making a reversible bonnet and i'll be using ankara and satin for this tutorial now if you're new to my channel you're welcome please subscribe share and like my video and drop your thoughts in the comment section and also click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video all right so let's get back into the video first off you'll be needing your fabric if you're making a reversible bonnet you'll be needing two fabric one to turn it in as a lining and the other as the main fabric we'll be also needing we'll be needing a pair of scissors an elastic tape and then chalk and also a safety pin so first off what i did is i've i got the length of the 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 length of my bonnet so you need to know how big or how small you want your bonnet to be so for me i wanted it to be just a medium size so the length of the fabric that i used was 22 inch and also the width was 22 inch now that i spread the fabric i will go ahead to fold it into two now after folding it into two i will also go ahead and fold it over again so i'm folding it into four this is how to uh, make a circle if you are just going to be creating a circle this is how to fold your fabric to create a circle now that i'm done folding it the length of my bonnet is 10 inch 10 10 and a half precisely so i'll just go back to the edge the folded edge and i will mark 10 and a half i'll also go to the other side of the my fabric and also mark then and half so basically what i'm doing here is i'm just going all around the, the fabric marking my 10 and the half so i'm just marking 10 and a half all round after i've marked it all round i'm just going to connect the points that i have just marked after connecting the points that i've just marked on my fabric the next thing i'll be doing is to go over with my scissors and cut out the shape that i have just marked so i'm just cutting out the shape this is the round shape so now after i am done cutting this shape out i'm going to just open it up so that you see what it looks like so this is like what a perfect circle should look like now that i am done with this i'm just going to fold it over and place it on the satin so that i'll cut out the exact shape so basically what i have done is i folded my satin the same way i folded ankara and then i'll place uh, my ankara the cut out the circle i already cut out i'll place it on the satin and then use the scissors to cut it out so if you mind if you're looking at the the anchor the satin it's covered that one side is a bit longer that's because i joined the fabric into two so that's like the seam allowance at the edge there so now that i am done joining the parts together the two fabric together make sure that they are equally aligned i'm just going to cut out exactly the same shape that i have on the fabric that is on the ankara fabric so here it is i'm done cutting it out and i also have another circle so i have one full circle for the ankara and one full circle for this satin so the next thing i'll be doing after i have done this is on the right side of the satin i'll be placing the right side of the ankara fabric on the right side of the satin and what i'll do is after placing it together i will take it to my sewing machine and sew half an inch all round now what this is i'm just going to be joining the two fabric together now i'm not going to be closing up the the two of them all together i'll be leaving a space of two inches so that when i am done um joining them uh, together i can bring it out i can reveal the right side from the two inch that i did not close so basically i'm just going to mark two inches on the fabric and that two inches the point where i won't be closing up the fabric when i'm about to close up the two sides i hope you understand so basically what i'm saying is that now that i've laid the ankara and the satin right sides facing each other 
I'm going to go and join them with half an inch, leaving just two inches so that when I am done sewing, I can bring them out. Okay, now that I'm done sewing, this is what it looks like. I've joined the two fabric together and I have my two inch opening that I left so that I can turn the fabric inside out. So I'm just going to go over and bring out the right sides of the fabric so that I'll go over to reveal the right sides of the fabric. this is what it looks like i've gone ahead to also give it a good press and i still have my two inch opening right there so the next thing is to just mark one inch all around the fabric and the essence of marking one inch all around is for where the elastic is going to be sitting so the elastic needs to be somewhere and this is the casing we'll be creating for the elastic so the elastic is a um, half inch so we'll be creating one inch casing for where the elastic will be passing through so i'm just going ahead to mark one inch all around the fabric and i'm connecting the points that i have just marked on the fabric and after connecting all of this point after marking all of those points the one inch all around the fabric i will take it to my sewing machine and i uh, will go and sew all round not leaving any space this time around i'm not leaving any space i will be sewing all round the one inch okay so now that i'm done sewing i'm just going to cut out my elastic so for the elastic you just measure your head circumference and then you cut out the length that you need so for me my circumference is 12 inch and i've just cut it out and also the next thing i'll be doing after cutting out the elastic is to pass it through the one inch casing that we have just created and so for us to do this what I, you will need to do is to take your elastic and then you use your safety pin remember the safety pin so you take your safety pin and then attach it to one end of the elastic and then you also use a regular pin to hold the elastic to one side of the uh, fabric so the reason for this is that so that when you are about to pass the elastic into the casing the elastic doesn't get lost into the channel and remember that we left two inches space while we're um taking our half inch to join the the fabric together now that elastic is going to be passing through that two inch uh, space that we created earlier so i've just gone ahead to to pin the, the elastic one side of the elastic to the fabric and also to attach the safety pin to one the other side the other side of the um, elastic and here i am i'm just passing it into the casing gradually make sure that you just as you're moving you are pulling the band the elastic as you're moving you're pulling the band. so i'm just gradually um passing the elastic through the casing and then it's going to come out through the other side of the opening now that i am done doing that i'm just going to take out the uh, the safety pin and the other regular pin that i use to hold the elastic and then i will take to my sewing machine and just close up the elastic so that it will sit inside the bonnet comfortably okay so i'm just going to take to my sewing machine and close that out so now that i have done this the next thing after closing sewing um on my sewing machine closing the elastic on my sewing machine i'm just going to cut out any excess and this is what we have and our bonnet has finally taken shape and also remember that we still have the two inch opening that we created earlier so what i'll be doing is i'll take it to my sewing machine and then i'll run a, a top stitch to close up that space and we are done so just take it to my sewing machine and close up that two inch space that we left for the elastic to pass through and then after closing it this is what it should look like 
so lovelies this is how to make a reversible bonnet and i hope you like my video thank you for watching if you like my video please give me a thumbs up um, leave your thoughts in the comment section and put on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload a new video and also please do not forget to subscribe please subscribe to my channel and i hope you like my videos so until i see you next time please take care of yourself and be safe so i'll see you in my next video bye